first time I heard Roy, Roy was bending backwards and playing all kinds of fire coming through that trumpet. I never heard anything like it because he was quite different than Arthur Williams. And Arthur Williams was sort of on a recline at that period, so I immediately called Jameel Moondock and said, you got to listen to Roy Campbell. We got to have him in the band.
created other dimensions of music. Myself, Roy Campbell, Charles Downs again, and uh, Daniel Carter. And we were uh, going to do no compositions. The idea was to go into another dimension of music. <laughs> but it applies right now too. It's called Taz's Dilemma. The dust of memory sailing toward a dark, happy voice. Your shadow, a sky, a cloud, ascending a positive path, sky, cloud that leads to the ancestral homeland. Taz's Dilemma is that there is no dilemma. Smoke curling through the bell of your horn, thick, dark smoke, rich with the wisdom of the elders, a song for Brother Yusef, a blues for Albert and Don, hot smoke, hot, hot heat. There is no dilemma, only communion, communion with the cosmos through a life of vigilance and respect, a chant for Don Cherry and one for Hannibal too. All those smoke and air pockets, all those pockets of light winding through the pyramids, drawing us into other dimensions. Toward a heavenly ascending where I ask again, what dilemma do we speak of? History is alive and well in your horn. All the soups of all the ages mixed right here from Imhotep to Frankenstein and Igor. We are treated to a healing dance of body, mind, and spirit that only an angel of music dare bring. I remember Lee also, and young, sad Booker's lament. Walls it straight on up and straight on down the scales. All those shades and colors of train, all that stewing and brewing, all those remembrances of P 
pain from Malcolm Martin and Mandela to poor San Amadou Diallo. Smoke from your bell wakes us up. Smoke from your bell brings us peace and we thank the Creator for Roy Campbell. We thank Roy Campbell for our spiritual rejuvenation, for all that stewing and brewing and for carrying us off to the land of fire. Smoke curls upward from your bell, leads us toward the center, and the only dilemma is that there is no dilemma. There is no dilemma, there is no dilemma, for jazz makes me, jazz, jazz makes me, jazz makes me cool peaks and hot valleys and wild words, the dream, just the dreamer dreams, cloudy dreams, what comes in, what comes in to the back of the head, what comes into the front of the head, to the side of the head, and the, and, and the only dilemma is there. There is no dilemma. I'm talking about the music. The music that's telling you a story. The story you think, you think it tells you. If you're going to talk about the music, whether it's an examination or an untitled original, the music is always saying something and giving and teaching and translating and asking. If you want to tell what the music is talking about, say what the music is saying. Say that the music has something to say, that it's telling a story, even if you have to search your imagination. To look for heroes and such, and personal princesses pounding the dust trails to free themselves from happy endings that all end happily precarious in the end. In the end, there's a violent, romance in these cobbles, these cobbles. The music tells you just how modern the past can be. Look there, the music's past us. The music's told us, the music's met us and spoke to us as we listened and spoke back and woke up some star-rained, civilized, civilized night to breathe the music's ribcage, eat its dust cobbled flags and tattooed trees, to paint its walls, to yawn and tell its story. The music, the music woke us one night and the only dilemma is that there is no dilemma. There is no dilemma. There is no dilemma.